All right, everyone. How are you guys doing? One last video for tonight. Um, if YouTube will let me upload this. This was something that I decided I needed to do. I needed to do it right now. I'm having an urgency in my spirit. Um, you guys, honestly, this is my food letter that I have down in my garage that I needed to rewrite. I had one in my marriage with my husband and this time I have rewrote this letter and I am going to be putting this notebook right here and um, this Bible from the Dollar Tree in a big food storage pantry that I have downstairs with some food. Um, this is for if the rapture would happen and I am gone. Um, it is for anyone who I know who is left behind who finds this. Could be a neighbor, family, friends, um, ex-husband. It could be my children. It could be anybody that um, could possibly be left behind. Um, I'm hoping it will bless someone. And um, it's something that I really wanted to do in my marriage. I had the urgency to do this. I think it was 20 and 2015. God woke me up in the middle of the night and said, you need to do this and you need to do it right now. And um, I'm having that urgency again, you guys. Um, I don't know what is going to be happening um, in the month of July here. Um, I am hearing a lot of things are going to go bad um, for this world. All over, um, every country is going to be kind of like what France is going through right now. Um, there's been bombings over in Israel and Damascus. So um, I wrote this letter and I probably need to write something about Israel and Damascus in this letter because I didn't do that. Um, I will add that after I make this video. But I wanted to share with you what I have. Um, so I have some cleaning supplies, some toiletries in my white cabinet. I have food, canned good food and some military food. Um, I have not bought water, but I really need to buy um, and stock up on some water. Um, God is telling me to do that right now. Um, and I am not going to get around to it till uh, tomorrow at least, but I'm going to go stock up on water. Um, it is all cleaned out. I have put fresh food in there. Um, I would like to get some more. Um, it's not overflowing, and I would like to have it overflowing once again. But um, I did clean it out uh, a couple months ago. I went through and got rid of all the expired food in there. And um, everything's been updated as far as since my divorce. Um, God is telling me to do this again and rewrite this letter. And so I did that just now. Um, I'm going to put on my eyes here and read it to you what I have. Um, and like I said, I just am feeling the urgency in my spirit to go and put this down there as of tonight so um i dated it july 2nd 2023 hello there neighbor family friend um stranger my name is carrie and i have a youtube channel um blessed be the gift i am a christian single mother of three boys recently divorced um, and then I put a little personal note on there that I'm not going to read to you all and share with that. Um, but, um, I said, if you find this letter and I have disappeared, um, it is probably the rapture of the church, the bride of Christ. That is those who have accepted Jesus into their lives, repenting of all of their sins, surrendering self to live life for Jesus Christ. He made a promise that whoever believeth in him, Jesus Christ, will be saved and um, live forever with him in heaven. Oh, what a glorious day that is going to be. This is like a three-page letter. So, to those who have not accepted to live for Jesus Christ will perish and live forever with Satan, ruler of the earth. If you've been left behind, there will be many trials that will come upon the earth. But do not lose hope. You still have time to be with uh, me and with Jesus in heaven, you will have uh, to give up your life by beheading, not taking the mark on your right hand or your forehead. Satan will tempt you uh, to take the mark of the beast. Satan, if you choose 
to do so will surely live you will surely live with satan um, in hell forever everyone will have to make this decision i have some food and some things along with this bible and this notebook to encourage you during your struggles and i pray you will be blessed of what i can give but most importantly i want you to know that jesus loves you and he sent his son to die for your sins if you accept him you can live forever with him i pray that this will comfort you until the very end you will have seven years of hardship please read these scriptures and know that god is truly alive god promises here is in this bible that i'm leaving behind these are all everlasting promises psalms 119 160 love carrie and um so there's that and then i left a bunch of scriptures um i put after the rapture book of revelation will tell you what is to come for you for the next seven years read it um it will be your headline news and then what uh, to do to be saved i put the abcs of salvation um and i put you are saved through your faith um Colossians 2.12, Jesus died on the cross for your sins, 1 Thessalonians 4.14, guard God's word as your most precious possession, keep these promises in your heart, Proverbs 7, 2, and 3. Um, I am talking about the Antichrist, he will claim that he is God, many will believe him, but he is not the one true God. And then I left Bible verses. 1 John 4, 1, 2 Corinthians 11, 4, 13, 15, Matthew 7, 15, 21 through 23, Matthew 24, 4, 5, 23, and 26, 2 Thessalonians 2, 8 through 10. So um, I just want to add more Bible verses to this. But like I said, I feel like I need to go put it downstairs tonight. So I'm going to go do that. Um, and uh, I, I don't have it the way I need it to have it if the rapture would happen tonight. But um, I do want to get this down there as soon as possible. And um, I just want to be able to add to it. The longer I'm here, the more I will try to add to it as I go. And um, I wanted to share this with you. You know, when God is speaking to you about something and you have an urgency in your spirit, um, this is really something that uh, is good. It's just to write it down, you know, and this is not necessarily for me. So it's hard for me to put in words what's going to happen um, to those who are left behind. Um, I didn't talk about really the mark of the beast at all. I didn't talk about um, what's going to go on and what's going to happen in detail, you guys. Um, I could put some um, YouTube channels to look up, but honestly, um, if the grid goes down, um, the rapture happens, the grid goes down, something like that happens, um, this is all going to be wiped off. Uh, all of everybody talking about being a Christian <laughs> as much as possible. And trust me, the enemy already knows who is standing up for their faith, who's talking about Jesus. They know the ones like me who are looking for his soon return and um they're gonna try to take away every ounce of uh these things like bibles and uh, letters and bible verses um and uh i do have them all over my house so hopefully that will help um if someone is left behind um and you know it's gonna be tough it's gonna be tough for those who are left behind and I wish I had a different Bible to leave. Um, this one, unless I was left behind and I had very, very good eyesight. I mean, I don't even know how anybody's going to read this, you guys. It was a dollar at the Dollar Tree. And I bought it a long time ago specifically to go in this. Um, I'm hoping that someone can read that. I could not read that. I don't even think I can read it with my glasses on. Um, and it's so small, but I'm trying to do what I can do. Um, I do have Bibles, um, on my table. I have a Bible on my kitchen table. Um, I would like to try to keep it there as much as possible because if, um, the rapture would happen and I am having my devotional time, you know, at least it would be sitting there on the table and it would be open. Um, 
you know, I do have a bookshelf and I have a couple Bibles on devotionals on there. So I'm hoping that by setting the example um, and just offering this to someone will help someone who is left behind. But there really is an urgency in my spirit to get this done. I have been putting it off and putting it off um, since my divorce. Uh, I had to throw away all the food that was in there. Uh, it had all expired. Um, I did not have any of my belongings after my husband filed for divorce and kicked us out of the house um, for nine months, you guys. And so, yeah, I got all that back and I've been going through it and throwing away just truckloads of trash. And so I've been restocking and re-adding to it and living my life 100% for Christ um, now. And um, I don't need a husband in my life because I have Jesus Christ. And I want to share my testimony, um, my, my marriages and my divorce and what I've had to go through. And I want to share what Jesus has done for me to you all here on YouTube, spread the gospel. Um, and I'm hoping that I can also spread the gospel to whoever's left behind. Um, and I do have a special message in there for someone special in my life that um, I, I definitely um, think that if that person is left behind, I, I definitely want to have that message for them in there. And so, um, you know, as a Christian single mom, my number one goal in my life right now is to set that example and to live my life a hundred percent for Jesus. Uh, no matter what he has asked me to do, um, I have surrendered my life to him and rededicated my life. And I don't know how much time we have left, you guys. I don't. So um, I encourage you to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Repent of your sins. Pick up your cross. Follow Jesus. Good night. God bless you guys.